Hello everyone. Welcome to IoT Frontier. My name is Hari Arnak. Today I will be discussing the fundamental terminologies of Azure with definitions and practically showing them in the Azure portal. This video is useful for those who are planning to learn Azure because you keep hearing these terms in throughout your learning journey of Azure. So stay tuned until the end of this video to know all the basic terms of Azure. It takes time and effort to create content for you guys. So please share your support by liking this video and hitting that subscribe button so that you never miss an episode. Let's dive into the Azure terms. So these are the terminology that we are going by. The first one is resource. So what is resource? Resource is a basic building block of Azure. So anything you create, provision, deploy is called a resource. So for example, virtual machines, IoT hubs, databases, etc. All the services that we call are called as resources. Next is resource group. The resource group is a grouping of resources and they are, for example, if you have files and uh, we have grouped them into a folder, so that folder is called resource group here. So whatever the resources that we have created, for example, virtual machines or databases, all has to be in one folder that is called as resource group. When you create a resource, uh, you are required to place it into a resource group. And uh, when you, whenever you apply any action to a resource group, the action will apply to all resources within the resource group. And for example, if you delete the resource group, all the resources will also be deleted. You can see the example here. So this is the resource group where we can see all the resources are placed inside. For example, this is a VM, uh, this is a web service, and this is a database, VNet, etc. Next one is subscription. Subscription is a unit of management, building, and scale. So just like we have resource group, which will logically organize resources, subscription allow you to logically organize your resource groups and facilitate building. If you create an account in Azure, first thing is you should have the subscription so that uh, there could be a billing done for each resources that you use. And uh, the subscription provides you with authenticated and authorized access to products and services of Azure. And you can also set specific Azure policies on subscription level. Next is management group. So in the management group, you organize subscriptions into containers called management group. If you have many subscription, you might need a way to efficiently ac manage access policies and complaints for those subscriptions. Azure management groups uh, will provide you a level of scope above subscriptions. For example, you can take a look into this hierarchy where we have a management group and below that we have multiple management groups and subscriptions. And again, inside this management group, you have multiple subscription and management group. So management group allows nested management groups to be there, but subscription can be only one and you should not be able to have any nested subscriptions. So this is how it looks like. Next one is Azure AD, Azure Active Directory, which is a cloud-based identity and access management service that helps you control access to your applications and resources. It enables your employees uh, to access external resources such as Microsoft 365, Azure Portal, and thousands of other SaaS applications. Azure AD can be used to manage users, groups, and devices, as well as provide single sign-on to your applications. So let's look into the example. So for example, uh, you have on-premise applications, and there are three participants. One is business partners, devices, and public cloud Azure uh, Office 365. And anyone wants to access this, has to go through this Azure Active Directory so that they should be able to access it. Next is tenant. So tenant uh, it refers to a dedicated and isolated instance of Azure AD that is used to manage and control access to Azure resources, such as virtual machines, databases, and storage accounts. Each tenant represents an organization and is in distinct and separate from other Azure tenants. Let's look into example of hierarchy here. So you'll be having on top Azure AD tenant and below that you will be having management groups, multiple management groups, and then you can have subscriptions and we have resource groups and resources finally. And now let's look into the practical thing of what is 
all the terminologies that we learnt. So let us look into the management group. So first uh, let us look into the management group. So if you search in the search bar of Azure portal, you will see management groups. So under this management group, you should be able to uh, see if there are any groups that you have created. So first you have to organize them and then you should be able to see them. In this, uh, we have created just a new account. That's why you should not be able to see anything, but uh, I'm just showing you how to navigate through it. Next thing we can look into the subscriptions. So under the subscriptions, so you should be seeing, uh, for, for example, I have created a subscription under a free trial account. So you should be able to see the free trial, what is the current cost and is there any security score and other things, if it is active or not. Under the subscription, you should be able to see, uh, on the left side, you should be able to see all the resources and resources groups that are there. So currently I have three resources groups and uh, these are the resources that are available as well. So I will again show you. Uh, what are the resource groups separately? So you should search for resource groups. So you should once you search for the resource groups, you will be having uh, whatever the resource groups under each subscription. So for example, I look into function app and then inside the function app, these are the resources that were created. So you can look the type. So this is the function app and this is the app service plan, action group, all these are created under this resource group. So that logical separation and if you see the IoT Hub resource group, you should be able to see only one. So you don't have to search for the resources. So resources will be available uh, over here. So whatever the resources that we have created all, uh, for example, IoT Hub and uh, um, the function app all are listed here. The Active Directory, so Azure AD. So Azure AD, so inside the Azure AD, you should be able to see multiple uh, important things like users, groups, applications and what is the tenant ID that we have and all those things are visible here. And you can control uh, the users under the default directory and also you can provide permissions to it and so many things can be done here. We hope this video is informative and helped you understand the basic terminology of Azure. If you have further questions, feel free to comment and I'll answer them for you. Your support means a lot to us and helps us keep creating content like this. So please like this video and share to your friends who are in the learning of Azure. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.